Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with and reviewing the Pac-Man, the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. Yeah, Wet n Wild and Pac-Man. I'm on Wet n Wild's PR. This is not sponsored. I just thought that this collection was too cute to not do a video on. So we've got lip glosses, we've got eyeshadow palette, blush palette, nail polishes, a lip balm and a lip scrub. Uh, some bronzer and some brushes. At first I was like this 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 collection's really gimmicky You know most of the stuff is probably gonna be kind of like shitty, you know, like, like They're just making it to capitalize on people who like Pac-Man, which could be the case It's a selling point for sure But if you came here thinking that this collection is gonna be a flop or it's toy like makeup kids makeup Then you're wrong. The proof is on my face right here, and it's delicious Went Wild has really found their space with creating cute but also good quality makeup products that have a theme and yeah, they've got the Rebel Rose one which is kind of gothy, they've got the crystal collection, they had like a workout collection, they had gothographic a while back and now this Pac-Man one. Oh, they've had, they had a Game of Thrones one like even before Irma Decay and all that so I think that they've, they've found their thing. I love it. I'm super into it. I'm gonna go over all of the pricing and details in a minute. Later on in the video I'll show you how I got this look and we'll play with everything. I was actually pleasantly surprised by these nail polishes. This set is $10. I think it's worth it. Usually when you see colors like this they end up being pretty cheap pretty sheer and these ones are actually really nice i'm not good at painting my nails but i did two coats for each the yellow definitely needs two coats the pink one was a little streaky the orange is surprisingly pretty uh full coverage the red is beautiful and then the blue might be my favorite it's like a sparkly blue i just love it they have a little the little metal shaker shaker ball in there so that they won't get too separated so i'm actually pleasantly surprised by the nail polishes i think they're great the lip scrub and the lip balm i think that the packaging is the cutest these are the cutest things i've ever seen in my entire life i think i actually have uh, a lip balm similar to this it's like a little blueberry by tony molly kind of seems like when wild just you know copied that concept or whatever but actually really really enjoyed the lip balm it felt super hydrating super nice the lip scrub is, is was actually really nice too comparing it to the one in the rebel rose collection this one has a better smell and flavor the eyeshadow palette super pleased with this eyeshadow palette the only one that i had a problem with was the blue it was kind of like it's kind of patchy, which I was a little bummed about, but everything else is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at my eyes. I can't even believe it. I really like it. I think it, they could have used a black maybe instead of this like brick, like orange, burnt orange color, maybe a matte white, but the highlight shade is really pretty. Ooh, the eyeshadow brush, it's so freaking cute. It's a great brush. It's very versatile. And I mean, look at the fucking glitter in it. If you... If you like it and you want to spend $8 on a single eyeshadow brush, I say go for it because it's super cute. Powder brush, oh, I really like it. These are good quality brushes and they're super cute. So the blush palette, $10. I freaking love this thing. Wet n Wild makes beautiful blushes, especially that one right there. It's like a muted orangey and then these one, that one's a little pinky, that one's like more peachy and then that almost kind of looks like it could be like a highlighter like something subtle this is a beautiful palette i say go for this one because it's stunning these things i would pass on these i don't i'm not crazy about them um just because i don't usually use colors like this the blush thing it's pretty yeah i really like wet n wild's little pellet illuminator but for these they're just kind of a miss for me i just I don't know. And then lastly, the glosses. Pinky and Blinky are a hit for me. I think they're beautiful. Inky and Clyde, unfortunately, weren't super good. I still think Clyde is okay. This, this gloss is pointless. They shouldn't have included it because it's so bad. Okay, so let me know what you guys think of all the packaging and everything down in the comments below. I think everything is really cute. 
and um, doesn't feel too cheap at all. I mean, standard wet and wild quality. Let's try these out first. Might as well prep and moisturize my lips while we do our eyeshadow. The red one is the lip balm. It smells really good. And then the green one is the lip scrub. Oh my god, that's <laughs> that smells really good. So you just need a little bit. Has a little bit of that plasticky taste that, that the um the rose collection lip scrub had, but really nice. It's in my hair. It felt moisturizing for sure. Like it almost feels like it had lip balm in it. Let's also try out this little guy. This is just too freaking cute for words. Okay, so I'm dying to jump into this eyeshadow palette here. The game over eyeshadow palette. So this is what we're going to be using on our eyes. I'm super excited because these two palettes here that I got ages ago um, from Wet n Wild are some of my absolute favorites. They're really bright, really pigmented. They work great and unfortunately they've been discontinued but hopefully um, these colors here in the Game Over palette will be similar because these are bomb. Okie dokie. So first thing I'm doing is priming my lids. I'm using two different things to prime my lids. Uh, this is ColourPop No Filter Concealer Shade 02. This is going to go up here on the brow bone for blendability. And just to cover up like my skin tone. Also taking Wonder Cover by Shop Miss A in the shade White. This is $1. It's super sticky and thick. Uh, and it's going to really help make the colors pop. So this is going to go on the inner part of the eyelid, load it up, and then I like to just blend that around with the microfiber sponge from Miss A. First color we're going into is the middle color right here, the yellow. Packing that on the inner corner right on top of the white concealer. So it's not a super bright like neon yellow, it's more of a sunshine yellow. But I think it's pretty true to Pac-Man colors. Really enjoying this brush. I'm going to wipe it off in this little brush cleaner spongy thingy. Oh, that's kind of dirty. Next to the yellow, I feel like I want to do this color. This is one of my absolute favorite. Oh, do I? God, I want to use every color. I'm going to dip into this. It is a neon, kind of like a cool toned orange. Like a coral neon creamsicle. I don't know, but. It's fucking beautiful. Just packing that in the middle of the lid next to the yellow. Overlapping on the yellow a little bit just so they blend together. Let's do a little pink next to that one. So right now I'm just patting. I'm not really like worrying about blending the crease or anything. I'm just patting the color down. With a clean brush, now I'm just blending out that outer edge. I think this purple color needs to go right down. Oh, bitch. That is the most pigmented color eyeshadow I've ever used. I'm gonna do part of my lower lash line right now just because I'm worried about the fallout. I'm thinking blue is gonna go next. Right next to the purple. Shitload of fallout. That blue is uh, not my favorite. Definitely feel like it would perform better with some sort of primer or base or something. Maybe I'll uh, do that. I do with the blue, I'm gonna do my foundation and stuff really quick and then I'm gonna be back and we'll finish up the eyes. Alright guys, I'm back. The foundation and concealer and stuff is, is done and I wanted to pop back on just to demo the brush. Absolutely love this. Like I love the black and the neon yellow and the glitter, of course. There's little Pac-Man sequins in there. So freaking cute. So I'm gonna set my entire face. I really didn't have any doubts about this brush. Wet n Wild makes great brushes. 
Next I'm going to bake and put down a little extra setting powder under my eyes so that we can finish the lower lash line. I'm going to try to go through this really quickly though because I'm already getting dry. So I want to do blue on the outer portion of the lower lash line. Even with the concealer, still not super great. Not not my favorite shadow. Next, we are going to go into this adorable seafoam green. And that's going to go right next to the dark blue. Beautiful. Okay, I'm brushing this powder away because I'm so dry. Oh, gosh. I should not have used the concealer that I used today because it did not appreciate that powder, let me tell you. Last thing I'm doing for, for the lower lash line, I'm dipping into this color right here from the blush and bronze palette. And this is just going to go right under the blue and the green. I'm taking a white eyeshadow. It's not in the collection. This is a matte white eyeshadow by Definite Cosmetics. And I'm popping that in my inner corner area next to my nose. I've been doing this lately and it just lightens up whatever colors that you put in there. I'm gonna let my face just kind of chill for a second because it's feeling so dry because of all that powder. I'm gonna pop uh, my, my brows on and I'll be right back. You know what, I'm thinking to, mix, to really mix things up. I wanna do a blue winged eyeliner. I think that'd be fun kind of to go with the iconic blue lines that go through the Pac-Man background. So this is LA Splash Liquid Eyeliner in Serpent, and it is a matte blue. Looks like it's uh, drying out a little bit. Hoping I can do a liner with this. If not, This is the hardest eyeliner to use. It's so like chunky and dry. Okay guys, that blue eyeliner might have been a bad idea. I think it looks pretty cool from far away. So luckily you guys are kind of far away. I'm gonna pop on mascara and lashes and then I'll be back and we're gonna test out all the other stuff, okay? Let's jump into the blush palette. I think this is super cute. I really like Wet n Wild blushes and I'm so stoked to have this because my all-time favorite orange blush is by Wet n Wild. It's called Apricot in the Middle. And now I have some more so I don't need to keep just using that one. I'm gonna do this one. So freaking cute. Maybe mix in a little bit of this. Also, oh, I love this. I'm doing a lot of blush because this is kind of like an 80s look. Alright, so I don't really wear bronzer, so I'm probably not gonna try the the bronzer pellet thing. But let's try the blush highlighter one. We'll try this out kind of like a blush topper moment. I don't know if you really need it if you have this for a little extra pop of white highlight. I'm going to dip into this one, this little ghosty shade. It's pretty glittery and it's kind of like fluttering away, so I'm going to spritz with some setting spray. This color is so bright and so glittery and so cute. I'm just pressing it under my brow bone. I can pop it in my inner corner. It really needs setting spray because it is so... Okay, last but not least, let's test out these adorable lip glosses. These are too cute. Start out with this orange one that is called Clyde. It's a really thick gloss. I like it. Uh, the only thing is that it's so sheer and 
it ends up looking a little streaky and patchy because it's so sheer like we know how it builds up and it's a really cute color I, I like it actually um, very flattering all right, the next one is Pinky. Ooh, I don't know if this one, if it's just because this one is closer to my actual lip color, but it seems like it's more pigmented. Looks a lot like this shade here from the Rebel Rose collection. Next, we have Blinky. absolutely beautiful cherry red I love a gloss that you can actually overdraw with and create like a nice crisp line around your lips so I really like this this one's super pigmented it is a very goopy and thick formula but it's not like creating those like strings it's not too sticky last but hopefully not least you guys is the blue one and I cannot wait to see what that looks like we have the blue one, which is inky. How <laughs> cute. It's looking a little inky, not gonna lie. Um, this one is just like the orange one. It's sheer and streaky and hard to build up to a decent opacity and just doesn't look very good. Alright guys, and here is the finished Pac-Man collection look. Ended up pairing Blinky Gloss with a liquid lipstick by Atomic Makeup called Pirate Love and they work so perfectly together and it just adds a little bit more of an opaqueness. I'm into it. I'm loving like the colors up against the black right now. I think it's pretty cute. I appreciate you watching this video so much. Let me know what you guys think of the collection and my finished look down in the comments below. I absolutely love hearing from you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!